So can you guess what this awk command will do? It's a very short command, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, tell me down in the comments or something. But uh, if we actually run it on a file, I guess. Uh, let me. Okay. So I guess if that's not clear, I guess let's cat it. So it removes the blank lines, the the lines uh, consisting nothing but the new line that is the, you know, the line separator. But how does that work? Well, if you know some awk, right? Uh, the whole uh, structure of an awk program is you have some pattern and action and since we didn't specify the action it's gonna print the line right because the awk program works per line and since we didn't well it's gonna evaluate the expression right which is dollar sign zero and of course dollar sign zero refers to the line so it's you know it's like this right if the whole line is not zero it's gonna uh, if it evaluates to true, it's gonna print the whole line. And how does that work? Well, in awk, uh, zero length strings are uh, zero, mm, false, right? So this will do the same thing. But before you actually use this to remove blank lines, this command is kind of flawed if you're looking for that behavior alone. Because, well, what happens if we have a string which contains just zero and then we pass it to the awk what happens here well it's not going to print the zero because the zero will be evaluated as the dollar sign zero since the the whole line is just a zero character it will be evaluated as a number which is uh, the number zero and it will not actually print the zero because zero is not non-zero it's zero is zero right zero is false so what you may want instead is actually this so uh, let's do it again right we have zero here and then oh wait uh, is it not equals right so uh, now it actually only removes blank lines, uh, a zero length string, right? So now we are explicitly checking if it's not a blank line. And why does it work? Well, I could only guess, but when you are doing something like, you know, a string, I know, hello, and then hell. When you're doing this, you're not really like evaluating the value of hello and hell, right? It's kind of syntactic sugar for a string compare, right? It's actually going to compare each character, right? It's a str compare. So I guess if you do something like this, it's not actually evaluating the value itself, but it's actually interpreting them as characters. So it's gonna, you know, is the zero character compared to uh, a blank string, which is not the same, right? 